So um, it, it is interesting what's going on. I had Jeff Howe, the athletic on earlier. And one thing we know about trades is that a lot of the things that happen in these sports, they just come out of nowhere. You can't predict. I mean, Kevin Durant to the Warriors, like, happened fast. And Brady to Tampa. I was on the air. Happened fast. And I, I said, you know, when you get divorced, that is such a life-altering event. So Tom Brady's 45. I think one of the reasons he moved to Florida when he was a Patriot was Tom warm weather. His wife had great influence, more international city than Boston. And now he's divorced. Um, what, what's your loyalty to Florida? Tom's never felt like a Florida guy uh, to me. He's a Northern California kid. Um, and I think he acclimated to the Northeast, but he doesn't even feel like a Northeast guy, right? Like I, I always thought Tommy's just, Tommy's Tommy. He doesn't, he's not, he's not loyal. He's in Northern California. That's where his family is. His favorite team was the Niners. He feels very California to me. High school, wanted to play college there. They overlooked him. So his parents are getting older. If, if Tampa, like if he won a Super Bowl, I don't think it's possible. He may just call it a career. But I think there's stuff here that's really, really possible. And one of the things I think is possible is San Francisco with that roster loses in the playoffs, you know, like to a Minnesota uh, or a team like a Seattle, and they feel they're a better team and Garoppolo doesn't play well. And Shanahan's like, I don't trust Trey Lance. I'm moving off Garoppolo. And they would go get Brady. And Brady's parents are getting older. And he's a Niner fan and a Northern California kid. And he would go to San Francisco. Uh, and he'd figure out a way to make his salary count. I think it's very possible. Jeff Howe, I talked about it. He used to cover the Patriots. I said it, it may seem daffy, but he keeps complaining about, you know, Tampa doesn't have things buttoned up, buttoned up. Say what you want about Belichick and Kyle Shanahan. They got stuff buttoned up. They're intense. So is Brady. Tampa's always felt very loose. Uh, and Tom's struggled with kind of tightening things up, commitment, pre-snap. Um, anyway, Jeff Howe, when I threw out this theory, uh, said this. My theory is if Brady continues to be frustrated for the remainder of this season in Tampa and he be he's going to become a free agent, if he still wants to keep playing, I don't think he's going to want to come back at age 46 seeing an organization or, or a roster that he doesn't think is going to meet his Super Bowl expectations. And he would enjoy, again, becoming a free agent. So who is he going to look at? Of course, he would be gravitated toward his hometown 49ers. I think he would also be gravitated toward Josh McDaniels and the Raiders if they want to split with Derek Carr. And I'm not willing to rule out a potential return to the Patriots. I think at this point in his career, familiarity is going to be important. Reason I think the Raiders and the Patriots would be a distant second or third is because Tom would prefer the NFC. Here is the current. If the season ended today... This would be the route to the Super Bowl for Tom Brady in the NFC. I think he wants to stay in this conference. Jalen Hurts, a number one seed, would have a bye. Cousins would face Garoppolo. I'd take Garoppolo and the Niners. Geno would face Daniel Jones. I'd probably take Seattle, probably. Uh, they'd be at home uh, if they won the division. Brady would face Dak. So you start looking around. I would take Geno. And then it would be Hurts against Garoppolo. Again, I would take the Niners roster and experience to win that. Brady over Geno. And Tom would face his former understudy to get to the Super Bowl. That's pretty darn attractive to me. Now, if you go over to the AFC, this is why, I, not that I would totally discount Belichick and the Raiders. Josh Allen gets a bye. Then it's Herbert Mahomes, Lamar and Tua, and Tannehill and Zach Wilson. Now, Zach Wilson's obviously the weakest. But let, let's, let's look at after that for a comp. Uh, you know, then it's literally it's Josh Allen and Tannehill, uh, both of one playoff games. It's Mahomes and Lamar Jackson, MVPs. And then, you know, I would go with Josh Allen and Mahomes. That is a lot tougher sled to get through. And I do think Tom thinks about that. I think one of the reasons he chose Tampa was all their weapons. I mean, he looked at it and he just went outside of like right tackle, maybe another running back. They've got all the weapons brought Gronk down. I think Tom looks at everything at 45 years old. So I think the Niners makes a lot of sense. Um, and that's not a knock on Garoppolo or Jalen Hurts or Geno. I mean, they're having great years. But, boy, you put 
if, if quarterbacks matter, and we know they do, you put the quarterbacks you go through in the NFC over the AFC. Nick Wright was on our show yesterday, and Nick's not a huge Brady fan because he loves Mahomes. This, this was Nick Wright yesterday on Brady's potential path. Your guy, Tom Brady, if they're the four seed, the only road playoff games would be against Jalen Hurts, who's 0 for 1 in the playoffs, lost to Brady, Geno Smith, who's never been in the playoffs, and Kirk Cousins. Tom Brady is going to go 8-9 and nine and then host a <laughs> playoff game and then go visit Kirk Cousins and then potentially have Jimmy Garoppolo or Geno Smith to go to his 11th Super Bowl, and I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> it's not. I mean, it's not far-fetched. It's just been a strange year. The Seahawks are a massive surprise. Uh, I think they're a wonderful surprise. I think it's a great story, and Pete Carroll can roll his eyes at all of us amateur critics, but um, that's why Niners feels right to me. I think it's a little early to give the Seahawks the division. Don't, I mean, the schedule points to the 49ers. Okay. I think they're going to overtake them. And then San Fran is not going on the road. But uh, I can't believe you picked the Titans to beat my Jets. Are you kidding me? Oh, the I... Tennessee Titans? No shot. They did not get a first down in the second half at Arrowhead. And took the game to overtime. They Mike didn't Vrabel's get a, a great coach, yes. Didn't get a single first down. Not one. And took the Chiefs and Mahomes and Andy Reid to overtime. We in may need to make a With a backup quarterback. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.